Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a, another video. Um, so basically last year I made my son a, a book advent calendar um, made with Christmas books and I've got um, a little box that I've wrapped up um, and some little canvas bags that I've stuck numbers on. Um, so, and I, I thought I'd do a video where um, I show you the books that I bought. Um, I did actually make like a little um, sped up version of how I made this on my TikTok, but I will upload it onto the shorts part of YouTube as well. So if you want to go check that out, um, feel free. I've actually revamped it a little bit. I've changed the box. Um, last year it was a cardboard box and i've swapped it to like a more sturdy um plastic kind of basket i am going to show you the 24 books that i've got for my little he is two and a half this this christmas so yes i'll crack on and show you the books that i've got so this is a new one this year that i'm putting in um this is a Tom Fletcher book called There's an Elf in My An Elf in Your Book. Um I really wanted to get this last year. Um I can't remember why I didn't. Um but yeah I really like we really like these books. Like he likes the dragon and the bear and all of those so it's a new addition to to the collection. Um and the next one is Oscar, Oscar eats Christmas, and it's about a unicorn um, that's hungry and eats the decorations. And yeah, so it was a good one last year. Um, the sheep, there's a sheep that saves Christmas. Um, I got most of these books. I got, I bought from the works um, in their uh, ten books for ten pound deal um but i actually started buying them like um so the january after his first christmas um which was a couple of years now um so yeah i bought those in the offer and a few extras as well um so this one is jingle spells about a little witch um kind of like a halloween Christmas crossover book. It's quite, it is quite a fun book. And we obviously have another Tom Fletcher book. Tom Fletcher and Doug Pointer, The Dinosaur That Pooped Christmas. Um, I really, I'm a big McFly fan, as you can see. Um, so I will buy whatever books I can, really. Um, you know, got to influence somehow. Um, and we've got uh, Jingle Bells, nice little, nice little stories really. Um, but the reason why I actually decided to do this was because on his first, his first Christmas, I bought this um, one that was already made, like um, from Home Bargains, and it had twenty four tiny little books like that, and I could barely read it because it was so tiny and there's only about three christmas stories in there like i was disappointed i was like right do you know what i'm just gonna do one myself that i can reuse every year and it can be a little tradition of ours to do um but the next one is the best the best christmas ever christmas is only what a day away and militant mouth has scrubbed and dusted and baked until everything is perfect but when Millicent's friends need help, the plan goes to topsy turvy. Yeah, it's just another. They're all just really not nice little stories, and then I've got some board books as well. So we've got um, I'm just a little snowman. Just a short little one, really. That like these sort of things, these sort of stories. Like once you've read it in the advent calendar i'll just keep it out um 
during the Christmas period and we can just read it over and over again. Um, and then there's Baby Bear's Christmas Kiss. It's quite an old fashioned looking book, but it was quite nice. Um, then we've got Snowman's Party. Uh, we have Peppa P Peppa's Christmas. Um, it's all about her seeing Santa and Christmas, getting a Christmas tree. It was quite a good story. We like the Peppa Pig stories. And this one is my first Santa is Coming to Bristol. And I really like this book. Um, I bought it on his first during his first Christmas and it's quite nice as it mentions like places from Bristol and like you know it is quite a silly book really but we like that we like silly books um and we've got obviously the classic the night before Christmas which will I want to be read on like Christmas Eve every year if you know what I mean like at least it's one of them books in that needs to um and then we have Pup, uh, puppy's first Christmas, which I just thought was really cute, um, and we love dogs. So, and then we have the polar bear who saved Christmas. Another just little simple. Well, I say they're simple, but they are. Some of them are a bit long, so you gotta go. You know. He's two and a half, he probably won't listen to all of it, but the, the thought is there, right? And then we have the Christmas Angels. Like little animals and... The Little Lost Penguin. Uh, it's not really Christmas themed, but it's kind of wintry, so we still include that, you know. And then we have... Um, the Snow Queen. Um, mo oh, I've found I lost some numbers of some of the books, <laughs> and there it is. Oh, I can't get it off. Number sixteen. Ow! Right. So we have the Snow Queen. We have Rocking Reindeer. The snowman and the snow dog. We have the Christmas extravaganza hotel. Uh, Pepper meets Father Christmas. Uh, Dear Santa by Rod Campbell, which is is one of our favourite books um, series. He is probably our favourite author, I would say. He loves um, Dear Zoo and there's one about being on a farm and he really likes that one as well. And yeah. And then last but not least is Santa Stop Here, which is just a little, like it's quite a short little rhyming um, story. I think you've got about four, page, four or five pages, it's quite nice. Um, but yeah, that is all of the books that I will be including um, in my son's book advent calendar. Um, like I said, most of these I got from the works um, in their offer. Some I got from Amazon and also a few of them I actually got from a charity shop. Um, it's always worth looking in charity shops this time of year to get like get books or whatever because some of those books cost me like 25p 50p so it is always worth doing um i think i made a video last year similar to this but i didn't upload it so maybe i included the price for what it all came to i don't know um i will have a look um but yeah that has been me um i hope you've enjoyed this video just been a quick short one today um Obviously, I'm not very consistent with uploading, so I don't know when the next video will be, but I will see you soon.
bye hope you all have a very merry christmas and a happy new year